Hey guys, how's it going? Well, as you can tell, my camera tripod is not wanting to play nice. Uh, this is my Colt Diamondback, as you can tell here. The six inch model. I got to show you the end on the last one on the four inch, but oh well. I'm not going to do reshoots. It takes me several shots to get it right anyway. This is the Colt Diamondback in 6 inch. I didn't do a teaser on it, I just figured you guys would want to see it. It's a beautiful, beautiful handgun. It's brand new in the box. Walnut grips. This is a 22 caliber Colt as well. Comes with the target and paperwork and stuff. Get on to the end here. And again, it follows the Python's traditional lines. And this is the D-frame. A little bit of styrofoam there. Tolerances are so tight on these Colts. I mean, that's just a thing of beauty to get, get it that close and that tight. One thing Colt just excels at is performance. I wish they continued to make these guns. I really, really do. Even in this economy. It's just a shame that they don't. But if you want a beautiful gun that you can shoot all day, and not go broke doing it with tons of accuracy. A Colt Diamondback would be what you'd want to use. The accuracy on the six inch is the best. You've got the windage and elevation, adjustable, fully adjustable rear sides. And I put the camera down when I, once when I close that four inch, I'm going to have to do it again, so heads up. To open this, you just slip the latch back, drop this down. The reason I do that is just to try to protect the finish. It doesn't really, I mean, these guns can really handle well on... chambers again you have your recessed chambers and the 22 long rifle just slides right in there nice ejector but the full under lug on this just has the control that you have with something like this is just spectacular. You know, that's one thing that, uh, that the Pythons have. And one thing I do want to note on, on the Diamondbacks, on the D-frames, on the Pythons you have a back strap that's exposed. D-frame uh, Colts you don't. You have a very good sight picture, incredible sight picture. The camera's not picking up very well, but I'm doing my best. You have your iron sights on the front. 
hopefully the camera will cooperate and focus a little bit for me. I'm going to have to set this down just for a minute so I can bear with me while I close the camera. I always hold back on the class to make sure that there's no rub against it. But as far as beauty, the only thing that rivals it is a python. And as far as performance in a 22, uh, you'll be hard pressed to find a more accurate shooting revolver. The sights on these are just exceptional. And just like with the python, if you're a good shot, you'll be a better shot. A little bit of styrofoam there. Just beautiful, beautiful liquid steel. Styrofoam just does not want to... does not want to... Operate. Lock up is so solid on it. You got your horizontal serrations. And these grips give you a nice rest for your for your thumb. And it's just a fine example. And again, on the pythons, they've they don't have the exposed firing pen. Pipe or diamondbacks do. Lockup is very very tight. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. The Diamondback in 6 inch. Before my cat starts going nuts on me here, I'm trying to muscle his way into the picture, which he tends to do. There you go. And that rounds out my Python series. I do have another 4 inch Python that is, is the exact twin to the one that you just saw. Uh, I bought a set, I bought a pair of them, and that's also uh, new in the box, and mint and blue. They make these, they made these in nickel, which were beautiful, beautiful handguns in nickel. But I like the, I like the Colt blue. It's difficult to uh, find. In fact, no handgun manufacturer has been able to duplicate the beauty of the Colt glued finish. Smith & Wesson couldn't do it. And really I've I've not seen any other manufacturer be able to. Dan Wesson came close. Dan Wesson did come close I think. But at the same time the Colt finish is just one of a kind. I'm nine minutes into this and I don't want to go any longer on it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And the Colt Python, or I mean the Colt Diamondback, rather. I've got a two, I've got two fours, and then I've got the six. And they're all just stunning. I'm just trying to give you an example of what they what they appeared like when you would get them out of the gun shop and walk out that door with a smile on your face. And back then you could do it without any buyer's remorse because they were priced well. These days you still walk out with a smile on your face but uh, you know there's no buyer's remorse on a Colt. 
but at the same time, in this economy, uh, money is hard to come by, and these Colts fetch a high price. So anybody who's going to ever sell one, and I'm not going to sell mine, but anybody who's ever going to sell uh, a Colt Diamondback or a Python, or really any Colt for that matter, is going to ask a very high premium on them. And rightly so, because they're no longer produced. Uh, they're very hard to come by. Uh, they're so desirable and just incredible guns. Take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Later on.